introduce it, here's Jaden Ants. This school of Hard Knocks Fight is a professional bout in the 205 pound division and is brought to you by Pitbull Athletic Gear. And now, let's meet the fighters. Coming down now to the cage out of the blue corner is RJ Richter fighting out of Excel MMA in Las Vegas, Nevada, the United States. Made the trip up here, Ryan. Uh, an excellent fighter. He talks about how he's got four brothers that, or sorry, he's the fourth brother, and his brothers beat him up as he was growing up and uh, was a wrestler as he's going. He got a very tough test in Anton Tokarchuk, but RJ Richter, very, very skilled opponent that we've brought up here from, from Nevada. Yeah, it's, uh, he's a guy that, sorry, he's a guy that spent a lot of time uh, working out and, and said that he, he spent about uh, time going off and on in the sport uh, and, and he really kind of committed to it uh, once he became a firefighter. He became a firefighter, he was able to have kind of that stability in that career and was able to move forward and, and really now trains um, again, a, a former wrestler and uh, now uh, also typically fights at 185. So uh, also moving up a weight class for this fight to fight Anton. So a very game fighter as well. Well, and I asked him if, if his work with firefighting, if there was any sort of fight back from, from work, whether they're like, well, we don't want you to fight here, bud. You're, you're a firefighter. We need you. But uh, he said he's very much he's very much okay with that. Uh, checked with his whole crew; they're all cheering him on from home back in Nevada. And R.J. Richter is coming into the Hard Knocks cage for the very first time, and we're excited to see him up here. And now uh, we'll uh, also. Uh, Former hockey player, former rugby player, said it really didn't fill the void for him uh, playing team sports, and uh, as a result, uh, moved and transitioned into MMA. And now we'll meet his opponent. And his opponent. Uh, here's a guy that, if you've seen the Hard Knocks Fighting Championship any time in the last year or so, you've seen this guy fight. Uh, he's been on almost every card we have because none of his fights last long enough for him to be damaged, injured in any way, shape, or form. It's no better than a glorified 30-second sparring session when Anton Tokarczuk has stepped into the Hard Knocks cage. Anton Tokarczuk, a very unassuming guy. He doesn't like press. He doesn't like to say, hey, I knock guys out. He doesn't like to say, hey, I'm a great fighter. He knocks guys out. He is a great fighter. I'm saying this here because it... The evidence is completely there. Let's let's take a look at some of the guys he's defeated. Corey Knight up in Fort St. John, a guy who is very, very tough, doesn't get knocked out, took one punch from Tukarchuk, one punch, had a welt on the side of his face, and the referee stepped in. The crowd was screaming for bloody murder, and he said, had the referee not stepped in, I would have tapped out. You look at the tail of the tape here, 32 years old for R.J. Richter. The big thing and the big thing that you'll notice is six foot six for Anton Tukarchuk, a massive massive fighter very tall and lanky yeah again uh, I talked to uh, Curtis Brigham earlier today and he said well he's two and a half pounds under the 205 weight limit do you think he might be able to get down to 185 there's nothing on Anton Tokarczuk to lose at six foot six 202 so really if he were cutting weight it wouldn't get him to that 185 anyway so why bother this is uh, where Anton walks he walks at 202, he's comfortable at 202, he's ready to fight, and like you said, Jeremy, does not take very long to do so. Nobody has gone more than 90 seconds with Anton Tekarcha. Joe Rogan recently wrote an article discussing weight cutting and how he thinks that it should be taken from the sport and said, everybody cheats. He says, everybody's a cheater, and I cheat because that guy cheats. Anton Tokarczuk very much on the school that I weighed this weight, I'm going to step in, I can weigh in right before the fight, and I'm still underneath that 205 pound limit because this is where I'm designed to fight. This is where I'm going to be. Now for our official introductions, we'll head inside the cage to Jaden Ants. And now, the official Hard Knocks Fighter introductions. In the blue corner for Pro Code Codings, he's 2-2 two two as a professional 32 years old and stands six feet, one inches tall. He weighed in at 199 pounds, fighting out of XL MMA from Las Vegas, Nevada. 
please welcome the Hard Knocks fighter, RJ Richter! And in the red corner for Pete the Plumber, he's 3-0 as a professional, 29 years old, and stands 6 feet 6 inches tall. He weighed in at 202 and one half pounds, fighting out of Dynamic MMA from Calgary. Please welcome Hard Knocks fighter, Anton Tokarcha! This bout will be contested under professional rules. The referee in charge of the Hard Knocks action is Mr. Adam Cheadle. Adam Cheadle, our referee, as Anton Tokarchuk gets set to take on Rod R.J. Richter. And Richter told me beforehand, I know Anton knocks guys out. I've been hit as hard as he's going to hit somebody, and I've stood the test. We'll see if he can do that here tonight as Tokarchuk and Richter get set to meet in the center of the cage. Anton Tokarczuk often talks, he says he wants the fight to go longer. He doesn't want to knock guys out in 30 seconds. He wants to test his whole game. His, he says his strength, if, although he can hit hard, his strength is on the ground. So and we've yet to see him there. So we'll see if RJ Richter can solve the, the problem, the math problem that is Anton Tokarczuk. Well, typically when we see with fights, it's when Anton, and you saw it there, he nods when a guy tags him, and typically if his head goes back at all, that's when Anton starts throwing punches and tries to end the fight. We saw it against Corey Knife, we saw it against Jesse Dayrider. One guy hits him and, and tags him with a good one. He says, well, I'm tired of getting hit in the face now. I'm just going to end the fight. And by the way, no disrespect intended to Corey Knipe or, or Jesse Dayrider, both very accomplished fighters in their own right. Uh, but Anton has just proven to be, in his short career, a kind of guy that you just don't want to step in the cage with. Trying to find the range. He does have that big reach advantage, a former swimmer. So he does have that, uh, that background. Hence, you can see the, definitely the swimmer's body, athletic body. But again, trying to keep the range between him and RJ Richter. RJ Richter, on the other hand, trying to solve the length that is to Karchuk, trying to get inside. And knowing that he has that power, you've got to be very careful with the way that you step in. Yeah, when I talked to Richter about how he was going to, to deal with the length of Tukarchuk, he said he needs to stay at the angle. Don't stand right in front of him. Come at him from different angles. Allow him to, uh, to get inside and, and, and punch up because it's not often when you're a six-foot guy you're going to face a guy that you've got a six-inch height disadvantage against. So it's a different training scenario for R.J. Richter, but in this case, he feels like he can get to the side and allow him to land effective strikes against Anton. There's a good leg kick there by Tukarczuk, not a typical side-to-side -side leg kick, more of the front kick. Again, Tukarczuk dancing back and forth. Already now the longest fight of Anton's career. That Big was a traditional leg kick, leg kick and uh, it hurt. Right to the back of the knee, just a little bit above the back of the knee. There's a takedown attempt by Richter. This is the first time that we've seen anybody really get in deep onto Karchuk. Now to Karchuk with the guillotine, has the arms in deep, and now landing some big shots and elbows to the side of R.J. Richter. R.J. Richter underneath the basket. Anton Tukarczuk getting taken down by Richter, but immediately back up to standing. And now Tukarczuk is raining down punches. Now R.J. Richter pushing Tukarczuk right up in front of us. Yeah, nice job there by Richter to land the takedown. Tukarczuk with the wizard, just worked him over, got back to his feet, started landing punches. Richter promised his chin could take him. So far, so good. R.J. Richter has Tukarczuk up against the cage. Continued pressure forward by R.J. Richter, leading to Karchuk up against the fence. Again, as opposed to what we saw earlier where it was just non-stop strikes, 
between Arbo and Krako. This fight, a little more calculated, Jeremy, looking for the opportunity to create damage. There's a, a knee to the inside of the leg of Tukarchuk. you got to chop down the tree, if you will, take away the base of support. Now scooping down low, grab both hands out of the butt. Tukarchuk now, again, another nice takedown from Richter. Tukarchuk trying to control the head and, and control the arm as well on the way down. RJ Richter, an excellent level change. You heard it from his coach. He was able to uh, get up high and then immediately quick down, get those hands locked underneath the ass of his opponent and now take him down. Again, to Kartruck, this is a situation he has not been in. So it's interesting to see how he works from there. Now a mount here from RJ Richter. To Kartruck trying to wall walk up, managed to kind of get himself out of that dangerous spot of the postured up punches. But again, a nice elbow there to the side of the head of Tukarchuk from Richter. And a wall walk up, but Richter keeping the mount and now getting Tukarchuk's arms or legs away from the cage so he can't do it again. Now trying to get in, dropping punches. 23 seconds left in the round, first round. Nice elbow there, starting to land punches. Anton now trying to fly towards the cage. Jeremy and press his way off of it. But again, limiting the damage, trying to posture up. A good round here from RJ Richter. RJ Richter providing pressure on Tukarchuk and landing some big shots. This is somewhere Anton has not been before. He's never been in round two. He's never lost a round. Did he wink at us? He winked at I, us. <laughs> Anton. <laughs> Anton came up with a smile. Uh, right here in front of us and uh, not sure if the full wink was there but uh, nevertheless uh, like you mentioned Jeremy never lost a round never been to round two and, and quite frankly I think in, in that on the judges scorecards that's going to be your 10-9 round in favor of Richter and as we see the end of the round here Richter on top of uh, Tukarchuk landing punches landing elbows which is something that uh, that we haven't seen Anton have to deal with yet in his career and again RJ Richter said to me, I know this guy ends fights, but he's going to have to do a lot to end me. I'm not like those other guys. And again, all the respect to them. I'm not like them. I'm not going to, I'm not going to get hit with that big shot. And so far, game plan going really well for RJ Richter. Yeah, Richter with two takedowns in that round. Had to car check up against the cage. And Richter now staring across the cage and ready. Some deep breaths coming from Tikarcha. But again, has that kind of swimmer's endurance, Jeremy. Shouldn't be a problem for him here to gas out, but this is uncharted waters as far as Anton Tikarchuk is concerned. And fighting like nothing else, I, I try to equate it to anyone, go outside and sprint for five minutes straight, and every 30 seconds stop and pick up a, someone your own weight and put them up on your shoulder and then continue to sprint and take a minute in between your rounds. I bet by, by minute 13, you're crawling on the pavement, and so you want to know what fighting's like. That's the best estimation I can give you. Tukarchuk had Richter backed up a little bit, finding the strikes. Richter going to look to time one of those punches and look for the shot. Tukarchuk respecting the shot, immediately giving space as soon as he saw the steps of RJ Richter. Anton now trying to find his range. He has that pawing style, and that's a nice swinging left. And it did catch RJ Richter, although unlike other people in the past, RJ Richter staying strong. Richter now staring at the midsection of Takarcha. Nice leg kick there from Anton. Again, pawing at him, Jeremy, keeping him at bay with those long limbs. Nice slam there from Richter. An excellent takedown from RJ Richter. And RJ immediately into side control to try and limit the effectiveness of Tukarchuk, taking away those elbows. Anton tried to throw one right away, and, and RJ tightened up that distance and took away the elbow. 
And you mentioned the pawing strikes, and it's to Karchuk because he's been so much quicker than his other opponents. He paws out and 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 tries to get the space, but because Richter is so fast, he's able to get inside of that paw, and that's something that you're going to see Vince Gentile, his cornerman, telling him, "Hey, you can't leave those hands out there. They have to be immediately back to be able to defend." Again, in the mount is R.J. Richter. Lots more time this time. Two minutes and, and 50 seconds. It looks like a small cut on his forehead as well. And now he has the back to car truck rolls through, and now he's in the mount. Fosters up. Richter trying to pop off, but unable to do so. To car truck lands a couple big shots. Big kick there, and here's Tukarchuk coming forward, trying to sense the killer and instinct. swarming him. He's driving knees. He's throwing punches. Richter down on the ground, still defending. The referee right on top of the action. Anton trying to end this, trying to throw a big knee. Richter rolls away, and Anton, with those long arms, Jeremy, able to still land punches while at a standing distance. Over top of the legs of R.J. Richter, and R.J. Richter right now is standing tough he goes in for single this is not where you want to be though getting those travis brown elbows but perhaps a little bit out of the tank of takar chuck he really pushed a lot forward and now rj richter using that stamina co to continue to put the pressure on takar chuck takar chuck back up standing did a lot of damage here but rj richter staying in tough I, and we thought i could have sworn this fight was over well, I thought for a minute, I mean, referee right on top of the action. They were going to have the best look at it. And just Anton Tokarchuk now up against the cage. Richter has him up against the cage. Anton now trying to land a couple knees. Nothing with much force, but these elbows are coming with bad intentions. Trying to work it for a takedown, unable to do so. Richter is in trouble again here, Jeremy. Tokarchuk now on top of him and trying to land punches again. Richter getting his head out of the way, probably a wise choice as he scrambled away from those elbows up against the cage. And Anton continuing to throw those punches out and RJ Richter hiding his head behind the back of Tokarczuk for good measure. Now side control for RJ Richter. And again, I believe he's gonna to start to work towards the mount. There it is, he's got the knee across. And again, 45 seconds for him to work. Excellent work here by RJ Richter letting the judges know that he may have landed some big shots but you know what I've controlled the majority of this round yeah gonna be interesting to see what the what the judges prioritize here on their scorecards Jeremy because Anton certainly got it the better of the striking whenever it's been on the feet but on the ground RJ Richter has done an excellent job of trying to create offense and like you said controlling the fight to this point Long legs of Anton just reaching around out of nowhere, grabbing on to RJ Richter, and with just 10 seconds left, gonna start to land punches like he did at the end of round one. RJ Richter on top of Anton Tukarchuk. We're going to a third and final round as Anton just gives him a nod again after round number two. But some damage done with punches there from Tukarchuk. Some excellent groundwork from RJ Richter. Some nice takedowns. So it'll be really interesting to see what the judges prioritize for round number two. And here's a replay of some of the action near the end of the round. And these fists landing to the side of RJ Richter's body and now to the side of his head were not necessarily doing damage, but to annoying to the point to RJ Richter that he started to hide his head away, take away the elbows that Tukarczyk was throwing. Now you see a little bit of welt on the side of RJ Richter's head and uh, in the corner of Anton Tukarczyk. Again, some uncharted territory like you mentioned, Ryan. Never in the second round. Now this is his first fight to the third round. And again, that second round had a lot of things. It's going to be tough to call that second round. I definitely give the first round to RJ Richter. But again, the second round, very difficult to call. Could have gone either way. Yeah, at this point... Uh... You, if you're if you're in the corner to Karchuk, you've got to think you've got to come out and win the third round. Uh, I think uh, Richter at the same time he's also got to think he's going to win the third round because you can't count on that second round. It uh, a bit very close again, depending on the priorities of the judges and what they're going to put uh, more more stock in. There was a good stiff jab landed by Tukarchuk. We've seen it in the UFC, Jeremy, where a guy will have control of the round for four minutes 
and lose the round because the other guy gets up and strikes hard and tries to end the fight for 60 seconds. We'll see if that's what happened on the judges' scorecards if it gets to the scorecards here after round number three. Long round, and both these guys have shown that they can do some damage. Another shot by R.J. Richter, now taking the back of Anton Tekarchuk and a big oh. elbow by Tekarchuk. But R.J. Richter driving him into the cage. Great and angles being put on here by our crew for you here at home. Rector again has Tekarchuk up against the cage. Big knees to the inside thigh. Rector trying to work cage control here and really keeps himself close in. That's one thing that Anton hasn't had to deal with. And it looks like Anton wanted this to go to the ground. Kind of dragged Richter down with him, but ends up on the bottom. And uh, maybe not necessarily the place you want to be if you're Anton Tukarchuk in a close fight. Well, Richter did have the double unders and was able to use that uh, bear, hug bear hug technique. And uh, so maybe a little column A, column B to get him to the ground. But this is where RJ Richter wants to be. He wants to take away the height and length of Anton Tukarchuk. And not only that, but be able to land his own damage. There's a good oh, elbow, another good and one. There's a Karchuk. big cut on the side of Anton's face. That last elbow opened up a big one, and he's aiming it, just putting the hand down and following through with the elbow. Textbook technique on those elbows from RJ Richter. Here comes to Karchuk. He's got a body triangle from the bottom, which is something I've never seen before. Of course, how many six foot six fighters are there? And again, lots of blood coming from the head of Anton Tukarchuk. It's a big punch being landed by RJ Richter. And, and again, like you mentioned, putting the hand down and then targeting that shot. So Richter really coming out here in the third round and putting on a show for the fans on the ground. Anton Tukarchuk bloodied and battered here on the bottom. And like you mentioned, Jeremy, managed to get that body triangle seemingly out of nowhere. But again, still on the bottom of R.J. Richter. And for sure, R.J. Richter won round one. We don't know who won round two, but for sure, R.J. Richter won round one. So Anton Tukarchuk needs this round. Yeah, and with just two minutes to go, he's going to have to get out of this pretty quickly to change the minds of the judges. He is landing punches from the bottom, and it's kind of it, it's odd, Jeremy, the position that he was in there. He had the one leg uh, across the body of R.J. Richter, who's now in the mount and has done very effective work from here. Now an arm triangle or a side choke here by RJ Richter. RJ Richter again knows that he is one round one. There's no doubt in the mind. So now working to a side choke and a lot of pressure. Good defense here by Tekarchuk pushing away, creating the space. But RJ Richter again taking the top position. Lots of pressure here by R.J. Richter with 1 minute and 15 seconds to go. And that is a big cut on the side of the head of Tukarchuk. Again, trying to find space, but R.J. Richter just not giving him any room to breathe. And again, trying to get the choke here. Anton trying to find his way out of it. R.J. Richter on top of Anton Tukarchuk. Again, something we've never seen, Jeremy. And big elbows landing right in front of his big punches too. 45 seconds left in this fight and RJ Richter is fighting to end it. Oh, huge elbow there. Less than 40 seconds to go here. RJ Richter has been dominant this round. Once he secured the takedown, was able to keep Anton Tukarchuk on the mat and not allowing him to get up and continue to rain down those massive elbows to the head of Takarcha. Now RJ Richter now 15 seconds, 13 seconds away from victory, likely as he won the first round and it's certain he's gonna win round three. Five seconds left, trying to finish it. Tukarcha trying to hang on here with short time left. That'll be the end of the fight. And that is likely the first loss in Anton Tukarchuk's career. R.J. Richter puts on a oh, show. Anton Tukarchuk might not be all there. He is walking to the corner. And again, 
RJ Richter said he was going to come in and not let Anton Tokarczuk knock him out, and he did not let him knock him out. In fact, he did a huge amount of damage to the face of Anton Tokarczuk. And again, cut man Mike Short working on Tokarczuk now, but a big win for RJ Richter, who doesn't appear to be all that damaged. And coming up as a firefighter from Las Vegas, and stopping the train that was Anton Tokarczuk, who had put together three straight impressive victories in his pro career. And RJ Richter, barring something massive on the judges' scorecards, is going to come out with this at least two rounds to one, if not three rounds to none. And uh, again, we will see what the judges come up with. But again, RJ Richter should win this fight, pushing his record to a three and two out of Excel MMA in Las Vegas, Nevada, and the youngest of four brothers, who I'm sure are watching at GFL.TV. Here's a replay of some, the end of the fight, and again, RJ Richter on top, and he lands in some very decent shots here in the last 10 seconds of the fight, and Anton's eyes were completely closed by this point, and RJ Richter laid down some vicious elbows that were huge right in front of us here we felt the cage shake we felt the echo it looks like we're ready for our official decision and for that decision we'll throw it up to jay denance and now the big four motors hard knocks 37 official decision brought to you by pitbull athletic gear the winner by unanimous decision in the blue corner rj so RJ Richter, your winner, he's going to be with Ryan at the center of the cage. Whoa. RJ Richter, your winner tonight. I'm not going to lie, RJ. You, flow, you fly up from Vegas. You got to fight a guy that has had five, six fights in his career. He's knocked everybody out. No question. You can take a punch, sir. Hell yeah, I can take a punch. Fuck, he hits hard, though. Yeah, he hits hard. I'll give him credit. That's a tough dude, man. I was hitting him with some mean elbows, and he kept coming. His length was a challenge. I thought I was going to be able to reach him a little bit on my feet. He made it real tough. So I did what I do best. I take it to the ground. Did you like those takedowns? Yeah! Took him down and hit him with some slick elbows. Yeah, it seemed like you were really measuring the elbow. Targeting it with your hand, following through with the elbow, and then once you put the cut on the forehead, it looked like that's where you were aiming. You had yourself a target. Yeah, he was, uh, he was a lot easier to strike on my left side. He was attacking real good to my right, so it was hard to get those elbows, but I found a hole with that left hand, that left elbow. Felt good. Now, I'm sure you got uh, sponsors and coaches to thank back home. I got no sponsors. I do this because I love it. I'm a full-time firefighter. I do this for my family, who I love, and back home, Sherelle, Colton, Presley, and all my family. I love you guys. Thanks for your support. And my coaches, Jose Salgado and Luis Hernandez back home, thank you very much for all your training you've helped help me with. I appreciate it. Well, you heard him. He doesn't have sponsors yet. If he can take a punch like that, you might want to get on this one early. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it one more time for your winner, RJ Richter. RJ Richter now three and two. He said Anton hits hard, but obviously not hard enough. And RJ Richter landed some vicious elbows. Here are some of those elbows from Tokarchuk that landed early on in round one. But once the takedown happened, it was all RJ Richter. RJ Richter worked from the top. He was able to land and measure some vicious shots to the head of Anton Tokarchuk, who was definitely not all there at the end of the fight. Uh, wobbled over the corner, almost fell over, and you can see the amount of damage that RJ Richter did. Tough credit to Anton Tokarchuk, who's now 3-1, and one, but we're going to throw it over to Ari and Ryan, who are here for their post-fight analysis. Well, Ari, it seemed like the problem was finding a guy that could last more than 90 seconds for Anton Tokarchuk. RJ Richter did that and more. A very impressive performance. Well, I think what R.J. Richter did that the others haven't is he took Anton down. And, and you take guys down, you ground and pound, you win fights in MMA. It's a great skill. R.J. Richter did a great job. 
Anton Tokarczuk needs to not get taken down. He needs to figure out how to defend those takedowns because I think he wins the standing war. All right, well, there it is. Anton Tokarczuk with the first loss of his MMA career after an impressive win by R.J. Richter. So again, R.J. Richter now 3-2 and two out of Excel MMA in Las Vegas, Nevada. And a big win for him taking out uh, and stopping the momentum of Anton Tokarczuk. Uh, for those of you watching at home, you want some more information, of course, you're watching live on GFL.TV. You can go to www.hardknocksfighting.com. You can check us out on Facebook and Hard Knocks Fighting on Facebook, on Twitter, at HK Fighting. Of course, then you can also go to YouTube, check out some of the great fights from the Hard Knocks Fighting Championship. They're all on YouTube. You want to check them out there.